Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning as I'm filming this and I'm about to give myself a fresh gel manicure. My cousin is getting married tomorrow and I've been hemming and hawing about what color I want to paint my nails and I keep going back to something dark. I feel like I need a dark chocolatey brown or like a deep red or burgundy, but I just exhausted the burgundy train and I don't know if I'm ready for a deep brown just yet. I actually just put a deep brown on my toes so I thought it might be nice to match, but Part of me kind of wants to do a French manicure. You know how much I loved my gel French manicure over the summer. And now that I have shorter, more square nails, I thought I would try a French mani on this style. So I'm a little nervous because the last one I did, I completely freehanded. It came out so, so great, but I know that this may pose challenges. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna give it my best shot. I'm gonna be creating this French with all gelish polishes today, per usual. So I have their foundation and their base coat, and then I'm gonna be using the Chic White Polish to create the tip. As long as my hands stay pretty steady, I think it'll come out okay. I've only had 75% of my coffee, so we're not too shaky just yet, so yeah. I'm ready to roll. Oh, before we get started, I want to quickly show you my outfit because I just got it from Amazon. It's a really cute and comfortable two-piece like waffle knit set. It's shorts and then a little pullover. Let me show you in the mirror. Please excuse my dirty mirror and my dirty office, but I got this in a size small. The color actually looked a little lighter online. I didn't expect it to be a true navy, but it's really cute. It's really comfy. The shorts go pretty high, and I actually find that they have pretty good coverage over the tush. Like, they're not too short on the bottom. So if you want them longer, you could definitely slide them down past the belly button. They have the drawstrings, so you can adjust. I like them up here. Yeah, it's just a very cute outfit. I'm wearing my slippers now, but I'm gonna wear my white slide-on sneakers later. This will just be a really cute, casual, sporty weekend outfit. I'll be sure to link this in the description box below. They had it in a ton of colors. It's just one of those cute transitional outfits. All right, I feel like I should bring the camera down. Let's see. I might bring it all the way down, to be honest, because I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing here, so. All right, here are my bare nails. They're already shaped and filed and they're basically ready for this gel manicure. So we're gonna jump right into the prep. We're gonna start with an 100 over 180 really coarse file and we're gonna begin scuffing up the perimeter of the nail. So just around the cuticle area and up the sides. This is gonna help the polish adhere, stick and last. It's kind of an annoying step, but it's really crucial for creating the perfect gel manicure. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to all of my other fingers. And from there, we're gonna take the pH bond. Now this is a really important step because this is gonna dehydrate the nail surface. It's gonna remove any oil, lotion, dirt, anything that may be kind of seen or unseen on the nail. And it also helps the polish stick. So if you don't have a pH bond, you can also use 100% acetone. It works just as well. Once that's all set, we're gonna grab our foundation. Per usual, I am using Gelish products. They are my all time favorite when it comes to gel manicures. And I'm gonna paint a thin coat of foundation on all of my nails. Once that's set, we're gonna pop it into the UV lamp and cure it for a couple minutes. Once that base coat has cured, we're gonna spray the nails with a surface cleanse. This is important because when the nails come out of the lamp, they tend to be a little sticky and this will remove that sticky residue. You can also use an alcohol, both work great. Just make sure you do this with a lint-free wipe. Once that sticky layer has been removed, we're going to grab our color. So we're going to be using Gelish's Chic White today to make our French manicure tip. This is probably the best white gel that I have come across, not just because it's Gelish, but it's very opaque, very thick, and very easy to work with. We're going to get a little bit of it on our brush. Now we want to make sure all the color is on one side of the bristles and just a little bit of color. Now we want to line that brush up on one end of our nail and slowly begin to draw a line inward just on the tip when you end in the middle place the brush on the opposite side of the nail and repeat so that you create a full line they're going to meet in the middle what really helps when doing this freehand is rotating your finger instead of using the brush to create the line use your finger to create the line i find it's easier to make a straight line this way it keeps the brush steady it keeps the line straight and do not worry about getting polish on the side of your nail or under the nail or anywhere else on the skin we are going to clean this up before we cure it so do what you got to do to make a straight line. Since the base coat is already cured, if you really mess up, you can completely remove the white and start over. It really is just a patience thing. So take your time, figure out what works best for you. And again, don't worry about the mess. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this on every finger until we feel happy with the results. And once we're done, we're gonna grab an orange stick or a cuticle pusher, anything that'll help clean up the nail. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that polish that ended up under the fingernail, on the side of the fingernail. We just wanna get it off before we cure 
these tips. So I'm just using one of my favorite cuticle pushers here. You honestly can use anything. You can use like the corner of an envelope or whatever you need, whatever you find easiest to work with. Um, just go ahead and get rid of that color because if it cures, it will harden and then it'll just be a mess. So once all of your fingers are cleaned up, you're going to take this beautiful manicure, pop it into your lamp and cure it. Once your nails come out of the lamp, there still may have been a little polish between the nail and the skin. Your nail will feel like it's being tugged by the skin. Um, just grab a nail file and quickly file between that area just to separate it and leave a clean edge. Once that's all done, grab the surface cleanse and your lint-free wipe and quickly remove any sticky residue that may be left after curing the white tips. And then we're going to take our top coat. This is Jellish's Top It Off. I'm going to apply a pretty generous coat to each nail to complete the manicure. And once that's done, we're going to pop our hand into the lamp to cure the final coat. And when we pull it out, we're going to use the surface cleanse one more time to remove the final sticky layer and then apply some cuticle oil. I absolutely love how this manicure turned out. I'm going to do the other hand real quick and then wrap up this video. All right, the French is done. I'm so, so happy with how it came out. I was really nervous to do my right hand after the first one was a little bit of a struggle, but it came out great. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll definitely do. I would consider it salon quality. Like, I would have paid for this manicure. Honestly, painting short nails is always more difficult than painting long ones because obviously you have less surface to work with when you're painting long nails. There's more area to cover. When your nails are shorter, you're more likely to flood the cuticle, get it onto the skin, get polished behind the nail. It's just a fact. So doing a French manicure on short nails is even more challenging, but it wasn't the hardest thing in the world. I would recommend if you're gonna do this at home, set aside a good amount of time to do it. Uh, you don't want to be rushing through it. I do think that French manicures look better on a little more tan hands. My hands are starting to get really pale now that we're officially in the fall season, but I still love it. I think it's just a classic look. It's a great wedding manicure. I love that French manicures are back in style. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and leave me a comment below letting me know if you are loving that French manis are making a comeback, or if you learned anything from this video, or if you have any of your own tips for doing your own French manicure at home pretty happy about it. But that's it for this video. Everything that I used, I will link below as well as this matching set and I will see you in my next one. Bye.